for the output mode change it to advanced and now the main thing you want to focus on is bitrate make sure your total bitrate audio plus video is no more than half of your internet upload speed otherwise if it's too much for your internet upload speed to handle you may experience buffering and you don't want that you can easily see your upload speed by going online and doing a speed test and then from there it should tell you your speed test in megabits per second so just to make this easier for you guys here's your chart of the bitrate based on your internet upload speed and the maximum you shouldn't go over and now as for the audio bitrate go ahead and keep it at 160 because beyond this point you can hardly notice the difference all right now for the encoder choose the nvidia nvec h.264 if you have a relatively recent nvidia graphics card and if you have an amd dedicated graphics card then you can use amd's encoder which is gradually improving over time Choose Intel QuickSync if you have a relatively recent Intel CPU but you don't have a dedicated graphics card. Choose X264 if you have an older CPU or you just don't see any other viable option. The truth is you cannot go wrong with any of these. For the rate control, choose constant bitrate. This applies to all of the encoders and it is usually best for streaming. All right, now for preset. If you're using the Nvidia NVEC encoder, keep the preset at quality. For some users, it's possible to do max quality, but for some who do so, they experience problems. So just to be safe, keep it at quality. And besides, the difference is not much. Now, if you see these options, depending on your encoder, look ahead and cycle visual tuning, turn off, look ahead, and then turn on psycho visual tuning now for x264 keep the preset at very fast and any slower than this yes it will improve quality but significantly increases the load on the cpu and any faster yes will improve performance but will reduce the quality so just keep it at very fast just to be safe now for keyframe interval it's best to keep it at two seconds and this applies to all encoders all right, and now for the OBS audio settings. For the sample rate, go ahead and keep it at 48 kilohertz. And for the channels, go ahead and keep it on stereo. Okay, moving on to global audio devices. Desktop audio is basically the sound coming from your PC. So basically, if you're playing your game, that would be the game sound that you're hearing right now. This is what your friends will hear when you stream. If you want, you can go ahead and keep this at default. But if you want to double check to make sure what that default device is exactly, because you may be someone who has multiple headphones or speakers connected to your PC, you can go ahead and click search on your PC and then type sounds and then choose that from the results. And there you go. This main output device, this is it. As you can see, the sound is coming from it. And as for the mic auxiliary device, choose the better microphone, especially if you have multiple microphones. Now, if you want to keep it at default, make sure that Windows itself is choosing the one you want. Again, it's the same steps. Click search, type sounds, and then double check to see that the microphone you want is the one that is set to default. All right, and now for the video settings. So for the base canvas resolution, you wanna make sure that it's set as the same resolution as your monitor. To double check that, you can right click an empty area on the desktop and then choose display settings. And then boom, there you go, where it says display resolution. As you can see, it'll tell you the resolution of your monitor. You can verify further by clicking this box right here, where you see it says recommended. There you go, that's the resolution of your monitor. The output scale resolution well, that's the resolution that you are going to be streaming to. <laughs> this is what your streamers will see. Now, for the downscale filter, go ahead and choose Lenzo's Sharpen Scaling 36 Simples. It has pretty good quality. But if your PC is having a hard time with regards to performance, then you can choose by Cubic instead. All right, common FPS values. Choose wisely with this one. 30 FPS is great for stability nice stable stream that perform well 60 fps is great because it looks so cool it looks nice but performance issues are more common what you can do you can go right in the middle and then choose 48 fps to get the best of both worlds and that's it with these settings for obs you are pretty much done for more videos like this subscribe and thanks for 